Welcome to All the Mods 7, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for joining me today. We have some fun stuff going. We're going to be automating some blaze spawners, some other kinds of spawners. I know exactly where a cave spider is off the top of my head. So it's going to be fantastic, dudes. But uh, yeah, I've gone ahead and cleared out the area uh, that we're going to be um, putting this on. Uh, it's going to be a little bit further away from the base just because I don't want it to be, you know, lagging up the world or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, this little hill here is going to be where we're putting all of our spawners. Uh, I don't have a mega torch over here yet, so mobs can still spawn. Um, but with spawners and the cursed earth that we'll be using, I don't believe it'll be a problem if we put a mega torch up here. We have a lot of wildlife. We have a little bird over here, but uh, yeah, finally upgraded my shovel. So now we insta mine. It's so great. Uh, I I can't believe I went so long without having insta mine on this. But when we killed the dragon, I had a lot of experience left over, and so I decided to enchant the shovel and get a good. But yeah, look at that. Already destroyed. Just like we're going to destroy this raccoon. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to leave him alive. But yeah, uh, this is where we're going to be building up our world, our little area. Uh, we're going to have four different chambers on the right over here. It's going to kind of look like an old ruined castle. That's the goal I have. Uh, we might build a bit of it on stream. Don't know yet. Don't don't take me at my word at that because I don't know. Um, but here, so it's gonna like start here. Um, I don't know. Should we do towers or like square pillars? Maybe we should do like circular cylinder towers. Um, so yeah, nothing too crazy. Uh, if we do it like this, do we have enough room? Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, one, two. One, two, three. One, one. Two, three, uh, one, two, one, one. Counting with turtle. Okay, how are we looking? It looks. I messed up some. I messed up somewhere. Where did I mess up? This is why circles are difficult. I did. What the frick did I do wrong? One, two, one. Oh, I see. There we go. Okay, I've mended it. We're good. We're good. Okay. So this will be one tower. And I don't want these, like, you know, perfectly lined up. And then on the inside, so say, like, this is the whole tower. I want to be able to be in here. Um, so we need to find the center, which is, I'm going to guess, here. Nope, that was one off. So that's the center. So we need to go out four blocks in each direction. So one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three. Ah, okay. So we really won't be able to see into it too much. Which is a shame. Um, so yeah, if we get this, the full spawning space, so one, two, three, four, and then on the fifth block is the wall. So unfortunately, we do have to go right here. But I really like the size of this, just for how um, how big this area is. Because I mean, we're gonna have to terraform a bit over here. This one will be pushed back a little bit, so it'll kind of be skewed. Like these won't be like perfectly lined up. Um, so, like, the middle of this won't be in the middle of that. Like, this one will probably be back a couple of blocks and then over to the left a little bit. So, like, the middle will be here. And then this one might be kind of close, um, like, maybe three blocks away, like, starting here. And then this will be the center. Or we might even make, like, this the center. I don't know. I don't know. We got to we gotta play with it. Um, but, yeah, this is where we're going to be putting it. Cool thing is we have some really nifty tools at our disposal and the buttons have switched again. It's so weird. Every once in a while... Like, I'll log into the world, and my J and B button are switched. Well, J doesn't access the map anymore. Um, and then I have to hit B, which gives me the waypoint manager, which is so weird how it changes. But I'm not complaining, or am I? Am I whining a bit? I probably am. Okay, so I'm going to grab a bunch of these, and we're going to have a good time. Okay, and so the tool I was speaking of is none other than the building gadget. Um, let's put that guy back in. And we're going to give this guy a charge. Uh, and so, by the way, you guys probably need to craft one of these, an XP drain singularity tank. Uh, they're super easy to make. Um, yeah, so you just take 200 pearls, a hopper, iron bars, and then the singularity tank, which is just some glass and iron. Uh, and then you stand on it, and it takes experience out of you, and then you can click it into a bucket, and we're going to need that for today. So I highly recommend making one of these. But let's get this bad boy charged up. All right, we fully charged up. We're going to set it to this. Bam a lamb. Whoa. Let's sleep. All right, so we're here. Um, here we go. This is the tower. 
Now, we're going to make it extremely basic right now, uh, and then we'll work on putting details in later. Um, but we definitely want this. Wait, I fell down. Okay. So I'm going to do this real quick. Oh, this is bad. This is not going good. Okay, so this is going to be our little starting area um, where we're going to put our mobs in, which is going to be good. So I'm actually going to go ahead and lower this one block here, and then we will place that. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. All right, so we have the bottom one. It's a different one. This is just the deep slate, our cobble deep slate. Uh, we'll eventually turn it into this. But now we need to work on the pillars. All right, so this... Oop, wait, I didn't do this one right. <laughs> so this is going to be the framework of our... Um, is, nope, that's engine. That's yeah, down, okay. So this is going to be the framework of our mob farm. And I would like to put the amethyst glass all around in here, so... Like, uh, I don't know. We gotta even do that. Uh, is it even worth it? Like, because we can't even get in here. So maybe we just do full blocks. Because, um, yeah, the glass is kind of, kind of expensive. You know what I mean? Like, we don't have enough of this yet. Uh, we can't make an amethyst bee, though. We just, oh, we just take a diamond bee and click it with some of that. That's great. Maybe we'll give that a shot later. Okay. So I need to work on the walls here. We need to enclose this. And then we're going to kind of chisel out a big area down below. And I think we're going to do the tinted glass here at the bottom. Actually, no. Because we're going to use conveyor belts. Um, is it conveyor belts? Okay. We're actually going to use the entity conveyor. Because we have a lot more slime and iron and redstone than we do leather. So... Yeah, we're going to use that instead. I think it's just going to be better altogether. Okay, so let's go ahead and make up a few of these guys. Yeah, that, that should be more than enough. Oh, our redstone. I put it all in the blocks. That's why we don't have any. Because I'd like to have at least two stacks of these. We also need to set up our, our redstone bee here really quick. Okay, so that's perfect. Got almost two stacks. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this now. Uh, or not do it now. We're going to make a mob masher now. So we're going to need a few of these guys. I don't need that many. Okay. So the iron spikes. Perfect. Um, we have two of those. Yep, okay. So we're going to have four of these going, one for each. Um, and then we're also going to need looting put on it. Upgrade to looting. Good. Okay, we're going to have looting 10, and then we can put sharpness on it. Yes. Oh, no. That's okay. Ah, oh, we really just won one short. That is alloying. Alloying? That's not even a word. What the frick did I just say? Okay, there we go. So we have sharpness 10, looting 10. Uh, we won't do beheading yet because I want to get wither skeletons in their own. And we can spawn those guys in. We have a way, uh, which is cool. So we're going to go ahead put these in this guy. Um, and we're going to need a vacuum hopper. There we go. I don't know if I can pull through blocks. Okay, so just seeing it from the outside, this definitely needs to be quite a bit taller. I'm not even going to lie. Um, yeah, so... Okay, so we're getting looting, getting sharpness. Uh, we have these guys. I'm going to go ahead and clear this out by one. Okay, so as long as this guy isn't powered, it won't hurt us. Um, so I can come in here. And I think this is what we're going to make the tinted glass as. 
Oh, that's going to be a thing. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. So I did seal it off. We got a straight shot up. Um, yeah, we've got quite a few blocks, so they shouldn't hit their head below, which is good. Hang on, I got an idea. No, I need to be up one more block. Okay. All right, here we go. We're going to place it from the top and then down. Okay, <clears throat> and there's a way. Yeah, so I can go click this, I believe. Enables redstone control. Ignore spawn cap. Um, yeah, you click it with an egg. Where was the one that ignores? Ignores spawn conditions. Okay, so all the modium. Um, so we need a nether star. So that is going to be a very high priority for us. So I need to do some stuff. But we need to get down there and turn that thing on. <gasps> oh no! I didn't clear out the blockage below. They're all stuck there. Well, that's gonna be fun to fix. All right, that I gotta heal up first. All right, here we go. Uh, how do we do this? Oh my gosh, I'm at half a heart. I gotta be careful. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do it. This is going bad. That's right, going for round two. Well, I think this one we can actually do from down low. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Don't do that. <laughs> so we're not only getting the drops, but we're also getting experience. I did not know that that was a thing. Oh, I just realized I we have over two stacks of blaze rods already. Holy crap, dudes. Like, oh my gosh, that farm is going to be so overpowered. Um, we, oh, wow, um, yeah, we definitely gotta be a trade with the villagers and getting the emerald bees going, but, oh, holy guacamole, my dudes. I went back here for torches and didn't come back with them. Get in the frickin' door. Okay. So I got some torches down here just so we can see while we're doing this. It's very important that we don't get too close. Uh, and the, the vacuum hopper is going to really help that. Um, I, think, I think we should put it here. Let's see. If I do this, does, do they get picked up? So it's trying to, but it can't. Okay, so this is working, taking the experience and that. So cool, we can actually turn this right into our storage. If we do down is items, it'll start putting items into this. So if I go like this and like this, should start putting them in. Yes, perfect. Okay. Cool, so we have experience that we can get. Um, Okay, and so for the spawners, let's see. What can we do to improve it? Decrease minimum spawn delay. Okay, so we're gonna need some sugar. That's good. Uh, maximum spawn delay, gonna need a lot of clocks. Uh, increases spawn count, probably some fermented spire eyes. Maximum nearby entities, that's gonna be good. Increase the required player range. I'm going to do that as well. Spawn range. We don't want that one. Ignores nearby players. We're going to want this and these two. So let's go and get some stuff. All right. So the sugar cane, that's easy. We've got a lot of it over here. We're breaking some sword. We get the magnetic effect. Ah, 
how much we get in that in that one harvest? Um, holy crap, that's so much. Oh my goodness, we almost died. Oh, that would have been bad trying to get our stuff back in there. All right, so we increased the spawning rate. Oh, I guess. Increased uh, the minimum spawn delay, so, or decrease the minimum spawn delay. So that should help get us more materials. But we have looting ten, and we've already filled. Oh my gosh, we've already filled up one of them. Okay, we're good on blaze rods. We are good on blaze rods. That is a bit overpowered. Just want to say, looting ten. <coughs> All right, so I think I need to do some enchanting um, to get the capturing enchantment, because then we can change, like, go find some spawners and change what they are. Because um, I know in the end we have a few um, spawners that are like like endermites, and like those are not very useful. So we could change those spawners. Um, yeah, so I think that's our next goal to get capturing and then we'll go and slay some mobs. We can get like creepers and skeletons. It'll be great. I also just realized I don't have enough experience. So we're gonna have to go ahead and for one, upgrade this guy to the max. And I'm gonna need to sit here AFK for a bit. And just wait. So yeah, I'll be back. Um, ooh, this is taking all the XP actually. I'll figure out a way. Okay, so we got the first like set of 30 levels, I guess. Uh, super awesome. I found a way to get it out. I'll show you guys in a second. No, so I do need to make a bunch of diamond swords. That's unfortunate, but we will make do. All right, so we're looking for capturing. That's, that's the name of the game. I need lapis. Why have I forgot the lapis? Doesn't make any sense. Lapis, I have a you. Let us be an enchanted. Perfect. Knockback two. Nope. What about you? Sharpness three. Nope. All right. We have to wait more. Oh well. Um. Yeah. So check it out. So oh, we gotta go the other way. Um. We have these singularity tanks I was telling you about. They fill up with XP, and then there's this XP tap. All you gotta do is click it. And it drains out the XP and puts it back into orbs. So yeah, that's how we're getting the XP out of here. We are... Oh my gosh, we are moving up in the world. Look at that. Beautiful. Yep, yeah, gonna do some more AFK in here, and I'll be back in a bit. Oh man, a lot of cool things have happened since last recording session, dudes. Uh, let's see. As you can see, I've got these all upgraded. Another, I just did it the basic way. And then I also did some experimenting and check out what this is. This is all, uh, the, the modium. It is fantastic. So I was able to find a peaks biome way out here in the middle of nowhere. It is quite a distance away. If I turn on the home one, let's have a look. Yeah, just 4,400 blocks away. I like Honestly, with flight, that's not too far away. Uh, but I had to go. I could not find it. Um, I was looking, geez, everywhere for one of these. It was like lagging the server. Uh, so I had to just type it into, um, what's it called? Biome Finder. And we were able to find it. There's one of those, too. I just realized that. Uh, but yeah, they all of the modium has been shown up here. Look, we got some over here. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, this is where you find it. This is called a Jagged Peaks. Do I have sound on? Uh, can you guys hear it? Because I cannot. Hang on. That's better. So we got sound now. It's weird. Like my computer was uh, saying that it couldn't detect any sound drivers in it. Like it wasn't detecting the capture card. Anyway, we're fixed now. So we have all the modium here. Now I do like this will not work, even though it's got silk touch uh, and it is a netherite diamond. I think that's the issue. It says netherite diamond pickaxe and not just a netherite pickaxe. Um, so yeah, I have a fortune on this and efficiency four. So we're able to mine this stuff up and it's delish. 
Yes, all of the modium. Beautiful. And the cool thing is we really don't need a whole lot of this because we have bees. We can make good things. All the modium bees. And I did manage to get a skeletal bee finally. I'll show you guys how I did that. All right, so we're back at the base here. Now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to use an ore hammer. And we are going to smack those. So now we have 44 all the modium. This is great and all, but I want to be able to produce this. All right, so we got them all smelted up. All we got to do is just convert these, like I guess just one to get started into a block. Uh, and then we also need an all the modium B. Yes. Now the other thing we need is a withered rose. And the only way to get one of these is with a wither killing some entities so that's going to be another thing but to get a skeletal bee what i did is i set up over here an aluminum bee um and you make sure that this thing is not lit like there's no light around it and a skeletal bee will move in now i've only gotten one he's chilling right here uh and it's taken him uh let's see all of these were filled so I had almost three stacks of honeycombs or aluminum combs from this guy. So it takes a while. Um, so set up a bunch of these. You know, have some have some bees you don't really care about, like aluminum. Like we really don't have a whole lot of use for aluminum in the pack as of yet. Um, so like it doesn't really matter. I mean, high voltage wire. Like maybe we could use that. Um, but like there's not a actually aluminum is actually pretty helpful now I, because we have immersive engineering. Um, but yeah, just. Something you don't really need all that often. We have a bunch of aluminum uh, from our core, so I don't even need that. Uh, but yeah, I would highly recommend setting up one of these, just random, and then letting it go for a while. Okay, so I've got one wither skeleton head, and the reason I was able to get it is because I killed a lot of the withers and they dropped these. And so I eat like nine of these equals one. So we just need to go and farm some wither skeletons in the nether, which should be pretty easy. Uh, I wanted to check here um uses oh that's not the right thing uses here let's click it okay so this is just used for the red heart canister i believe we get these from killing wither skeletons because it's you know it's like a wither bone um so yeah i'm gonna go kill a couple in the the nether now and we're gonna have a good time before we go uh i think we can use some all of the modium uh yeah and we can make some uh some armor, um, so no fall damage. Um, some pants, piglins become neutral, and a helmet. Yes, we don't have the ability to put it on our jetpack yet, but ooh, 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 that's looking like a snack. Um, probably do cosmetic armor with this one. I wonder if it still gives you the buff. Hmm, no, because they're not put it there. If wait, hang on a sec. What if? Can I put this on the back? No. Why? Come on, let me put armor on it. Let me do it. You want me to. You want me to. There's a lot of things we don't have done. And I have a lot of those. What are these? Bundles. Why do I keep getting bundles? Tombstone Soulbound. That's pretty neat. We should put that on a decent tool or something. Okay, and I think we should enchant them before we go. Real quick. I know I'm making this longer than I should. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. All right, so helmet. I'm breaking three. Okay. Okay, so Tombstone... Soulbound. Can we enchant our jetpack? That'd be cool. No, we can't. Okay, cool.
Okay, so that makes 18 of these guys, so we no longer need any more, which is fantastic. We can go ahead and spawn in a wither. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab some soul sand here. Uh, let's see. Down. Bam. We got a bit. Perfect. Uh, cool. So I'm going to head back over to the base, and we're good. All right, so here we go. Bam, bam. All right, we have everything we need. How many eggs do I have? We got 13. Hopefully we can get some chickens out of those because we're going to need to spawn them in. Um, and I think we need a potion of weakness on them if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's what we need. Okay. All right. Uh, so we're going to go up below the, um, the portal in the end. So down here, we're just going to clear this out. And this is where we're going to set up our kind of cheaty way of killing the the wither here. Now, we do need to grab some obsidian. Uh, good thing is we got some around us already. Uh, we're going to spawn him into the portal. But we got to clear out all this area. Make sure we are directly in the center of it. Otherwise, it could be bad. Actually, I don't think it, we have to be directly in the center. Uh, but we do need to be in a spot where uh, we're not going to die. All right, so do a little bit of may do a little bit of vein mining here, and bam! Look at all of that obsidian that we got. Very cool. So I believe we want it like that. Let me double check here real quick. Yeah, okay. So his feet need to be lined up with the center, and then there needs to be two blocks here. Perfect. That will lock them in, and then we're also going to do this here so the chickens can escape i can't escape this is fun uh yeah so we got two chickens we need to have them kind of calm down a little bit um yeah kind of push you off Okay, so those are placed. All right, we're up above. So they're down here. So let's let's hit them with a potion. They got me. Did it get them? No, it just got me. Frick! <laughs> I need another one. Okay, let's try this again. We're going to go right here. Bam. So we know, yep, yeah, they definitely have the effect. So boom, boom, boom. Okay. Oh, buddies. did it but we didn't really do it right um frick okay so that's we're gonna have to do some more uh because he's supposed to kill those chickens and i think we need to pair it up we need to throw uh, like a poison potion at them first so they get down to half a heart um yeah okay so i'm gonna make a splash potion for that and then i'm gonna go see if i can collect some more eggs around from some chickens this will be fun Okay, so went to the nether, made a shield, uh, actually went through the entire shield. Uh, actually, that's not it. Uh, I went through the entire shield killing wither skeletons, which is crazy to think about. Uh, but we got a lot of wither skeleton heads. I actually got a total of uh, 10 of these guys. That's crazy. Jeez, that's a lot. Um, 
yeah, we got one nether star, poison, weakness. Yes, that's what we want. Uh, now I need to go get some eggs so that uh, we can get the chickens dead and get the wither roses because we got quite a few. We got we got two, with actually three withers we're going to spawn in, uh, and then, yeah, we got some stuff to build with them. So I'm going to see about getting some, some chicken eggs. Okay, so we we have this thing called a mob yoinker from Utila X, and I don't know. Yes, okay, so that does capture them. Perfect. I'm gonna try this on the villagers and bring them back. He just someone, one of them just laid an egg. I heard it. So we got another chicken or something. I don't know. Do you see this bee over here? It's a zombie. Oh, are you a zombie? Oh. It's crazy because like we don't take fall damage anymore, so I can just do this and let go, and I'm still not used to that yet. <laughs> it's the all the modium boots. So we got two chickens. You know, we can get some wither roses. I do have a skeletal bee. Uh, oh, he's in my inventory system. Okay. Dang it! I looked at him. All right, beat it, chump. Okay, so chicken, chicken. Um, let's throw this and maybe this. Ah, I missed the chicken. All right, half a heart, half a heart. I didn't bring any food. This is rough. Oh, man. The things we do for modded things. And we got two Wither Roses. Perfect. There's our second wither. Um, so let's go ahead, and I'm going to kill these other two a little bit further away. And we don't need to worry about the wither roses anymore because we got two of them, which is great. Okay, so we're back in action here. So I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to place down the skeletal bee, and then we're going to click him, and then we're going to grab him. All right, so we got a withered bee. And what do you produce? You produce the withered comb. Is this wither skull chip? Okay, so it's essentially automated wither skulls. That's cool. Okay. So, yeah, we have three extra nether stars, and we now have a withered bee. So all the modium bee, we need an ancient bee and a withered bee. Perfect. I believe I have an extra ancient bee. I did make another one. I don't think I actually did now that I think about it. How do we make a diamond bee again? It's the ender and the lapis. Okay. All right, so Lapis and the Ender Bee. Give us a Diamond Bee, and then we just give them a good old click. Okay, so we got to grow up this Diamond Bee here, and then we're going to boop him. Okay, so he's pretty much grown. Well, I can't really, I can give him more flowers, but they don't really do any good. And then, pop. There he is. Then we click him. Beautiful. And now we need to get the withered bee out here. And so we click the ancient bee and the withered bee. 
What is that? Craft an advanced beehive. Oh, that wasn't me. Okay. And there's our all the modium bee. Get out of here. Oh my goodness, we have an all the modium bee. Oh, and we have all the modium. So we can literally automate all the modium. Who else can do that? Only cool people who are also playing the pack and are further along than I am. That's the second all the modium. I have another block. Okay. I don't have any more advanced beehives. But I can make one. And an expansion. Bam. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to build up another spot for it, and we can start to farm it. Okay, so here is another um, area. Actually, we're going to do this one here. Here's another spot. There's no bees in here, so we can take our all the modium bee. He's going to start generating some combs. He sees all the modium. He's so excited. He's like, yeah, look at this. <gasps> you dance, little buddy. You dance and give us all the modium. Oh, my goodness. And we can keep breeding up those other bees, um, the withered bee and the ancient bee, and keep getting more of these guys so that we can start producing this more and more. So that's going to be what I am focused on for a while. Oh, man. Oh, we have all the modium kind of generated. Let's have a look in the back. Is he giving us any combs yet? All the modium. We need to look at the combs. Um, he gives us these guys, and it goes straight into all the modium. So we're going to need a crafter. Okay, this is, this is actually easy. Let's get a tesseract. Before we update the pack and make everything more expensive, you guys might be wondering why everything isn't so as expensive as it is for you, and that's because we haven't quite updated the pack yet to the latest version. We're still on an older version, um, just because of the stability. Uh, I know that there have been a little bit of stability issues of some of the later ones. I'm not too sure what they were. I've just seen them in the chat, but anyway, that's been good. Let's do some goodness here. We need a Tesseract. Z sky, perfect. All right, we can get power there. Um, I'm going to go for, we're going to try the energy pipes cable with it because um, we're going to need the powered, whoops, didn't click it right. We're going to need the powered centrifuge, uh, one of these guys. And then we're going to need a crafter from RF tools to craft our stuff into a, all right, so here's, Here's our crafter, super easy. Two crafting tables, one machine frame, two redstone torches. That's what it is for me. Might not be for you guys, depending on what version of the pack you're on. We'll be updating probably not Friday's video, but the video after that um, for the weekend, because I don't really want to change it for the next video, because I didn't bring pipes. Okay, so bringing it out of here. Um, do we have any of the combs yet? <gasps> oh my goodness, those are all the modium combs. That is crazy. Okay. So we're going to get power to this guy, which is good. Um, yeah, we can just put this guy here. This was supposed to be for a wandering uh, trader who had a really good deal on what he was selling. And so we're going to set this here, activate that, and then let's have a look here. Do we get any all the modium? No. Do we get any all the modium? Come on. No. All right. We got one more try. Come on. Third time's the charm. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay. We didn't get any all the modium, but that's okay. We can put it into a drawer. Okay. So I've got a double one over here, and that's going to pull directly out. Go into there. Perfect. I don't actually want I want all the modium on top. <laughs> it looks cool. So we're going to grab our drawer key. We're going to lock it. Uh, so the automodium will get trapped kind of in here. Be cool if we got some nuggets now. Nope, didn't get any there. Come on, give us all the modium. Nope. Okay. What is the chance of the all the modium comb? Does it tell us? 10% chance. Oof. Okay. So we've only processed a few of those. It'll go in there. And then we're going to take 
the all the modium um actually we need to take it out from the other direction wait not there take it out here I should be able to do this and then we can pull power out of the tesseract does that work it is working perfect okay this is good this is very good beautiful that means that when we get all the modium I can actually make some ingots with our all the modium that we have just to get this process uh, oh, going so that's that's fantastic and we're gonna need another drawer as well all right and so then uh, this will pull out of here we'll get rid of that this will pull out do we have one yet nope okay so we can still use we can turn these in so we click here um, and those are stored and then what we can do is take one of these filters here maybe like this click that and then whitelist add the nugget submit so oh yes So we take it out of there, click it here, and it's back in. Beautiful. Okay. So click here for the recipe, and then ooh, we can make some good food with that. And then we apply. And then uh, external all apply. Perfect. Okay. So then it crafted it up. And here we go. We have our all the modium. And then on that back one, we want to put this here for the wax. And now we have all of the modium crafted up here. Oh, frick. Wait. I've goofed. Ah, I guess that's okay. So it gets these. Uh, it sees when it gets nine of the nuggets, it puts it here. And then that takes it out and puts it here. Beautiful. All the modium has been automated. Now, it's not fast yet because this, this guy's not grown up. Um, but yeah, we just need to get some more guys, but guys, we have automated all the modium and we have a blaze farm going. So thank you all for watching so much. This video has taken a while. I'm sorry. There was no video yesterday or two days ago on Monday. We'll get back on track, ladies and gentlemen. But again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.